Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. These are hottest news from crypto world. If you want to be aware of all the latest information about cryptocurrencies, you are in the right place. So let's get down to business together with me. Bitcoin rose to $38,250 as the Global Banking Committee began to take it seriously. Bitcoin rose 5.1% after the Basel Committee in Switzerland imposed strict capital controls on banks. The flagship digital currency soared to $38,250 in London after global banking regulator the Basel Committee proposed tough capital controls for banks, showing that it is now taking Bitcoin very seriously. The proposal would require banks offering Bitcoin investment programs to set aside enough money to fully cover the losses of all Bitcoin customers. The coverage would have to be 1,250% since Bitcoin is in the highest risk category. Thus, the regulator showed that the banking industry is now taking Bitcoins and other crypto assets very seriously. Bitcoin price volatility hit a year high in May. Bitcoin prices had a tumultuous May, seeing sharp swings and losing nearly half their value in the matter of weeks. According to data provided by asset manager Blockforce Capital, the 30-day annualized volatility of the digital currency has reached 116.72%. The situation remains volatile, with Elon Musk contributing more chaos with his tweets. More and more investors are putting their money into stable coins, but why should all these coins just exist without any profits? Waves.exchange is considered a good option. They provide favorable rates, 30% API for stable coins. In case the market goes down, the Waves Exchange stake is entrance and currently guarantees a 29.6% returns in USDT. You can bet any amount in USDT, USDC, BTC, EDH, NTR, and other currencies on the Waves Exchange. Betting funds are managed through public smart contracts that you can always check. You can start with 10 USDT and withdraw funds at any time. Silvergate Bank cuts ties with Binance disabling US dollar deposits and withdrawals. International Binance users will no longer be able to deposit and withdraw US dollars through Silvergate. On June 10th, Binance sent out an email to customers, two separate copies of which were reviewed by the blog, one in English and one in Spanish. The email states that Binance will no longer support US dollar deposits and withdrawal through Silvergate Bank via SWIFT being June 11th. US dollar deposit made to our Silvergate Bank account after June 11th, 2021 will be returned to your account within 21 business days, the email said. The amount refunded may be less due to the external bank fees involved. 270 million XRP transferred by major cryptocurrency exchanges, Ripple continues to transfer XRP to China. The latest analysis shows that the major exchanges have transferred 270 million XRP as Ripple continues to send the cryptocurrency to China's largest trading venue. Data provided by crypto tracking service WellAlert shows that several major exchanges have moved a whopping 270 million XRP in the last 20 hours. Meanwhile, fintech monster Ripple continues its regular XRP transfers to Huobi, slightly reducing its daily stash. Among the exchanges that participated in the transfer were Huobi, Binance, Coinbase, and Bybit. The largest amount of cryptocurrency was transferred from Bybit to Binance. Coinbase Bitcoin-backed loans now available in 20 U.S. states. Coinbase has increased the interest limit that customers can borrow on their Bitcoin holdings from 30% to 40%. The company now offers fixed BTC-backed loans to 17 U.S. states and lines of credit to Arizona, California, and Iowa. The 17 states include Alaska, Arkansas, Connecticut, Florida, Illinois, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Texas, Virginia, Nebraska, Utah, and Wyoming. Customers can now borrow up to $100,000 in cash against their BTC assets with a 7.9 APR on the loan. Loans also have the low minimum payment of 10 per month. Customers will not be subject to a credit check and there are no fees. India is considering declaring Bitcoin an asset class. After three years of legal battles and countless committees, Bitcoin may finally be regulated as an asset class in India. 
The local newspaper New Indian Express reports that according to key sources, the Indian government is no longer hostile to cryptocurrencies and will likely soon classify Bitcoin as an asset class in India. Once they do, the Securities and Exchange Board of India will move to foreign cryptocurrencies, which will be subject to capital gains tax under the Income Tax Act. The cryptocurrency bill that makes all this possible is likely to be introduced in Parliament when the new season begins in July. Coinbase partners with 401,000 advisors to offer cryptocurrency investment for retirement accounts. Participants will be able to invest up to 5% of their retirement portfolio in cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether. The partnership will allow for use all clients, that means small and mid-sized employees, to offer their employees that ability to invest up to 5% of their portfolio in cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ether. Coinbase Institutional will manage the trading and storage of these coins. According to Forasol, it is a first-of-its-kind initiative that managed more than than $1.7 billion in assets for more than 70,000 employees. That figure, however, represents only a small fraction of the $22 trillion retreatment account market. U.S. Deposit Bank with $40 trillion in assets creates crypto division. State Street announced the creation of a digital division that will offer cryptocurrency products and services to customers. State Street, a custodian bank in Boston with $40 trillion in assets, created a digital division to offer crypto services amid growing customer demand. The bank said cryptocurrencies are at the tipping point and they will offer as many crypto services as possible under the rules available. Nadin Chakar, who will need the new digital division, said that many customers have increased their cryptocurrencies by 300% in the past two months and the bank is trying to keep up with the huge demand. Chakar also said said that they have an intensive process of communicating with regulators to ensure that their services comply with regulatory policies. Ledger raises $380 million to expand DeFi solutions. The funds will be used to expand its decentralized financial solutions, hardware products and operating system. Ledger, a hardware wallet provider, raised $380 million in a Series C funding round led by 10T Holdings. The round gives the crypto firm a unicorn valuation. The company says it will use the newly raised funds to expand its ecosystem and create innovative products for the crypto market. This includes offering new DeFi solutions in the Ledger Life app, creating a proprietary operational system for third-party integrations and launching a new range of hardware products aimed at both retail and institutional customers. So guys, thank you for your attention. I hope that you liked this video. If you still have any questions, please ask them in our comment section below this video. I wish you a great day and hope to see you again on our channel. Bye!